or making it easy to learn about series part six check out the previous videos for more good stuff so let's say we have a sequence 3 6 12 24 48 and so on so each term is just the previous one times two so the second term a sub 2 equals 3 times 2 that's 6 right the third term a sub 3 equals 3 times 2 squared that's 12 right 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 a sub 4 equals 3 times 2 cubed that'll give you 24 so you see the pattern each time we add one more factor of r and that gives us the general term a sub n so any term in the sequence we could pick a sub 1 million if we wanted to that equals a sub 1 which is just the first term times r and in this case r equals 2 that's this number that's the one that we're adding we're multiplying uh, <laughs> more r's each time all right so times r to the n minus 1 so what does that mean if we're looking at a sub 4 for example the fourth term that's 1 2 3 1 2 3 so 24 is the fourth term so the exponent for the fourth term is n minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 and that's where that 3 comes from I hope this is making sense if not post something in the comments you can yell at me so this works for any geometric sequence for example let's say we had a sub 1 equals 5 and r equals 1 half then the fifth term a sub 5 equals well let's plug into the formula a sub 1 is 5 times r r is 1 half and n minus 1 well n is 5 so n minus 1 is 4 so that's how you find the nth term of a geometric sequence. If any of that didn't make sense, check out the previous videos in this series. Give a like, please, and follow for more.